Good morning and welcome to Matters Financial and Geopolitical from a Frontier. Thank you as always for stopping by. I hope the week has gone well. I'd like to thank CNN for taking my thoughts this morning at the Moven Pick about education. It's a really hot sector. I wrote about it in January and you know it's a story about the demographic surge, the more Africans who need to be educated. It's a story about Without education, you tend not to develop and in industrialize. And then, of course, there's a story about finding people gainful employment. Thank you again to CNN. Kenya, let's start with something I wrote at the end of January. I said the shilling is strengthened to 100.7 last. We're now at 100.4. I said every January, every year, every forecast about the shilling predicts a 10 to 15% devaluation. It's just mind-boggling. The key levers with regard to the shilling are the price of fuel. We have to write a check every month. Inward remittances, which flew off the chart last year. And I think we underestimate the safe haven status uh, that Kenya, the Kenya shilling has earned. And I concluded by saying a move below 100 would catch a lot of people off guard. Look at this chart and you'll see what I'm talking about. Interesting article in Bloomberg, which I like to think I triggered because I thought it had been the best start to the Nairobi stock market ever, but it turns out it's the best, shi- best start since 2013. Momentum shift in Kenya spurs stocks to best start since 2013. Uh, benchmark stock index has jumped 16%, the best in the world after Argentina and Egypt. Valuations were just too attractive following the correction by the end of 2018. This is Jud Morigi at ICEA Lion. More risk on environment thanks to slower interest rate increase path in the US. Foreign investors still net sellers as they've been for the last two years, but local buyers have stepped up. And, um, but however, one final point, the 14-day relative strength index has been above 70, a technical level that indicates shares may have risen too far, too fast. I wrote an article talking about this at the end of January, Reasons for Optimism. That link is on the website. I said that the stock exchange is open, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. The Nairobi All Shares up 13.12% so far this year. The NSE 20 is up 7.92% so far this year. Going back to that article, Reasons for Optimism, I spoke about the downshifting in the U.S. interest rate curve, uh, and I said this is boosted frontier in sub-Saharan African sovereign debt prices, lowered yields, and I was saying tactically this was the right moment for the Kenya government to go to the market. Kenjen is talking of raising funds from the market this year, as eyeing a green bond. Very good interview in Reuters. Um, later this year, may opt to issue the country's first green bond, its chief executive said. Kenjen has a 1,631 megawatt annual capacity and supplies 70% of Kenya's electricity. Private investors hold 30% of the company. Um, Kenjen will be redeeming its 10 year, 25 billion shilling bond, which is $250 million. In October, the bond was heavily oversubscribed when it was issued in 2009, in part because you got the, you clipped the coupon without any deductions. Our finance people are burning the midnight oil to look at the possibilities, said Rebecca. The team is looking at asset-backed securities. They're also looking at green bonds. Kenya's capital markets regulator is set to unveil regulations for the private issuance of green bonds this next week, paving the way for the first issue. Our geothermal-led strategy is bearing fruit, she said. The outlook is positive because we have projects that we're implementing that will increase our business, and we do hope the board will continue recommending a dividend. Kenjen's market cap is $420 million, much undervalued. Its EPS is 1.2, the P ratio is 5.617. I did an interview on the occasion of the full year earnings results release, so you would have known about this green bond had you watched that interview, in which Rebecca said, I'm certain we'll be the first in the NSC to issue a green bond. We have started the process and we have a transactional advisory team in place. The work is going on with the CMA and NSC. Um, I did a short comment on the BAT results yesterday. Have a look at that link, BAT. 
uh, is worth $638 million market cap, trading on a P of 15.618. These were strong results, massive dividend hike of 34.615%, and they're bullish about regional markets, which I think bodes well for shareholders. I wish you a tremendous weekend, and I thank you.